Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Tiny Rooms Therapy. This is our second session and today we are going to recreate this little room. It is special because the room does not exist in real life. It is kind of a chimera, a mixture of photography and 3D rendered graphic design. Today we will help this virtual habitation to manifest itself in reality as a 3 quarter inch miniature. I am going to make a few adaptations. First, the back wall will be a dark jungle green color and I'm painting the armchair in a very soft pink hue. Plus we make a retro bookshelf. And we already have owners. It will be Gina and Jill's apartment. So, that's it now, our second tiny rooms therapy session. Let's get started. First I'll cut the pieces for the sofa out of modeling board and see if all the parts fit together. Then I take my nail buffer and sand the parts into their final form. The upholstering effect on the backrest is simply done by carving lines. I do the same thing with the armchair. Then I cover them two times with watered down glue and paint them. This is the coffee table. I made legs from balsa wood. The tabletops are made of matte board with painted wood structure. Finish with a coat of clear paint. Next we're gonna make a retro style shelf. These are jumbo craft sticks, I cut the needed parts. I use double sided adhesive tape to make the mounting and gluing easier. After it dried for some hours, I paint the shelf with acrylic colors. For the back wall of the shelf, I use these very thin barbecue wood wraps from Elderwood. Doesn't that look great? What do you think? Now let's make the vintage sideboard. I use Calvados wood edge band ironing it to 1.5 mm matte board. Then I cut the side doors, the drawer part in the middle and the countertop out of it. I built the body of the sideboard with matte board and glued the veneered parts on. For the legs I use a balsa wood stick. I mark the lengths and sand them into shape before cutting them apart. The legs get a nice dark brown color. To create the hardware I use a so-called pearl pen. It is kind of a texture paste with gold colored particles. Now let's make that cute little globe. I painted this plastic pearl black. For the frame I cut half cycles out of cardboard and paint them gold. For the base I use balsa wood. Cut a round piece. Sand it into shape and painted gold also. The stand is made from a metal pin. Glue it into the base. 
Then I glue the frame onto the stand and mount the globe with a second pin. And it rotates! Now comes the especially fun part, the bicycle. First I cut all the parts for the frame from a bamboo stick. I disassembled an old placemat for this. I try to cut the parts in the needed angle. To finish the fit I will additionally sand the joining parts. This is the glued frame. I'll give it a couple of coats of red acrylic paint. Next we need the wheels. I cut the circles from mat board. To make the spokes, I prepared a drawing with the exact spacing and placed double-sided adhesive tape on the paper. I sticked one wheel with the back side up right in the middle. The spokes are cut from yarn. Then I put a thick layer of glue around the circle. I place the threads on the lines, press them into the glue and secure them on the adhesive tape. Let this dry completely, then carefully remove the threads from the tape, cut them down. The seat is made of balsa wood and the handles from wire. Sorry I somehow lost the footage of these parts. Now we need some accessories and deco elements. This little guy is made of printed out leaves, which I glued together back to back with a piece of wire in between. The pot is made of modeling board. I made another plant from this long grass deco. I just ripped out a stem and placed it into a tiny glass vase. That's it, very simple. Then I printed out some book covers and book spines. I cut them out, prepared fitting book bodies from foam board and glued the covers on. This is also very easy and quickly done. Next I prepared some cute graphic design elements with frames and printed them out. Then I just cover them with clear adhesive foil and cut them out. The carpet is also a simple printout. I glue it to a piece of paper towel to give it some body. Now let's create the room box. I cut a window out of the foam board Put on the window frame, which is made from matte board, and painted it white. The finished wall has a molded curtain rod with a sheer curtain. As mentioned in the beginning, the back wall of our little room is going to be a beautiful dark green color. I paint the foam board with matte wall color. Then I cut very fine cardboard strips for the trim molding. The circles you can see there are for the corners of the wainscoting. Everything is painted in the same green color. Then I glue the wainscoting and the trim to the back wall. Now let's finish the room box. I made the hardwood floor with ironed on elderwood edge band. Glue the walls in place with hot glue. Well, these are the household effects we made for Gina and Jill's new apartment. Let's move that nice young couple to their new home. Remember, 
we set out to create a 3D rendered room design as a miniature. Now let's reveal the end result. So, the living room is ready for Gina and Jill to move in. Well friends, that's it for today. I hope you liked this tiny rooms therapy session. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this making of, please also watch my other miniatures. Please also share, subscribe and hit the notification bell, because there will be many more miniature rooms. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!